Hi everybody, welcome to my video. I begin in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Once again I bring you messages from Holy Love Ministry. I have two for you today, and the first is dated November 20th, 2019, and it reads as follows. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Children, when my apocalyptic blessing rests upon faith-filled hearts, it is a victory in truth. This blessing is a weapon against the lies of Satan through which he is trying to take charge of the whole world. Only if you recognize the difference between truth and Satan's lies can you remain sure-footed along the path of righteousness. This blessing is my way of supporting those who desire salvation and of pointing out the dangers along the way. Once the apocalyptic blessing is received, the soul will not easily be led astray by blind obedience without recognition as to where he is being led. He will hold errant authority figures accountable for their actions. He will be able to differentiate between sound leadership and self-seeking, ambitious leadership. Many truths which are difficult to accept will be accepted. Children, I am your support during these difficult times, even frightening times. End of message. We are then led to read 2 Thessalonians 3, 1 to 3. Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may speed on and triumph as it did among you, and that we may be delivered from wicked and evil men, for not all have faith. But the Lord is faithful. He will strengthen you and guard you from evil. The second message is dated November 21st, 2019, and it was given on the Feast of the Presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And it reads as follows. The heart, the heart of God the Father says, Dear children, once you receive my apocalyptic blessing, you carry it with you the rest of your life. This is one important step in being prepared for the apocalypse in the event you were on earth during the unfolding of these events. The subsequent steps of preparation are in the heart of each soul. Be purified in holy love. Live as true apostles of love, always pleasing me in your thoughts, words, and actions. Be united in holy love and do not oppose each other. Live in accord with my commandments. These steps of preparation seem simple, but in reality it is very difficult to remain purified in my sight. The souls thus prepared will have less to contend with during the dark days of my wrath. Entrust your hearts to me now, during these times of preparation. Do not vary in your commitment. I, the Lord your God, am keeping a close watch. End of message. We are then led to read Hebrews 12, 14. Strive for peace with all men, and for the holiness without which no one will see the Lord. Let us pray. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, and save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Let us please say one Hail Mary, in which we ask the Blessed Mother, our Heavenly Mother, Jesus' Mother, the Mother of the Universe. 
we're asking her to pray for us and for all of the prayer intentions that we hold dear in our hearts. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary, Protectress of the Faith, please pray for us and for the suffering souls in purgatory. May we be blessed. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen.